Hello everyone, it's Janet here with my first project as a design team member for the Wild Bunch. I'm really excited to be a part of this wonderful design team and happy to be with the other three that were added to the group. So this is my first project. I also created a sign um, using their logo, Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm part of the Wild Bunch. And I just took a frame and I painted it with Martha Stewart Pearl Paint in Eclipse. So I painted the outside with that and I cut apart the sign and I inked it up and I used across the top I used the Ivory Guyper Lace LA00050. Beautiful lace. So gorgeous. And then in the corners I used these. They're the Pale Pink Small Gardenia Flowers FS00105 and I also used um, the purple cherry blossoms from the Mixed Color Cherry Blossoms PM00032 so they're in each one of the corners. So that's my sign and I created a little project for my mother. She's turning 83 and I wanted to make her a card in a box. So I used a box that I had got some scrapbook letters in and it has a top and a bottom so I took the top off and I created the background and I kind of made it like a shadow box so it has it has a lot of detail in the inside. So I'll show you all the products that I use from Wild Orchid Crafts to create this. And in the inside I used a picture and I put it on the sepia setting on my computer. And it's a picture of myself and my daughter and my mother who's turning 83 and my granddaughter Lexi. So I have four generations here. I printed that out on the computer and cut it out and inked the edges. And around the top of the box I just made the, it was a smaller cutout so I made the cutout bigger and I use this lace and I try when I'm doing projects like this I miter the lace so that it ends up looking like a picture frame. I think it looks a lot better than if you just do straight and then straight on top. Um, takes a little bit of extra time but I think it's well worth the time. And so in this corner and in the inside of the box and also up here I used the pink small curly wild roses. FM00259 in the two-tone champagne. I love the wild curly roses. They are so gorgeous and this is a beautiful color with this yellow and pink. So I use that there and inside and then also up here. And then I also used the um, pink tone hip rosebuds BUD139 I used one here, there's some on the inside and there's one over here. So use those. And then I also used the 3 8 or 10 millimeter pink tone roses. They're real small little baby roses. They're really sweet. EX00032. That's set B. And then also I used some from set A which is EX00014. So I have those in here and in here and over here. So those turned out really pretty. Also on the inside, you can see right back in here, I used some of the Guyper Cream Lace LA00022. Put this along the inside edge. I also back in here I used a decorative crown pin and I also used some of the off-white Pearl String WD00023 and I have that just kind of back in there and that just, just helps to add the dimension to the project. Then I have just a gold metal embellishment up here. I have some seam binding that runs all the way around and then ties up in a bow up here. And then I've also dangled a little earring from that and the flower and I tied a bow and then I just used a little glue to stick the pieces down there. Um, this is seam binding from my stash but I'm going to get some from Wild Orchid Crafts. They also carry seam binding so um, that's really great to have that supply. And 
Also, I used the ladies' diary paper, and I kind of wanted to use it for the whole project, but I didn't want to take away from the picture on the outside. But this paper line just really reminds me of my mother. She is a true lady. I don't have never met anyone that is more defined by the word lady than my mother. She's an incredible woman, and even at 83, she is just still just works hard and is just an amazing, gracious lady and always looks beautiful and it's just a privilege to call her my mother. So I used the Ladies Diary collection on the back and that's the way I turned it into a card. So just use cutouts from the paper. Paint The whole box is just painted with pink paint and then I used a little gold rub and buff just to kind of give it a little more dimension. So that's the my first project and I really thank everyone for watching and check out the Wild Orchid Craft channel because you'll be able to see the videos from all the other designers. They all do incredible work and I'm just so proud to be a part of this team. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!